Hey guys, welcome back to A and B Style. Today I decided to do a super burgundy look. I wanted to do a Valentine's Day look, and so this is what I came up with. It is a burgundy, smoky eye, super girly, super feminine. So I got two new goodies, and I got the balm, put a lid on it, eyelid primer, and I got the Smashbox primer water. And I was like, I wanna do something with it. So I decided, to use this and this as well. So I guess it's kind of like a mini review. And so far, so far, first of all, the eyelid primer was bomb. It was really good. I'm not used to the clear one because I'm used to my MAC Soft Ochre, so I have some veins and stuff, but literally I put it on, and you'll see in the video, and I put a white eyeshadow over it, and it was just like if I was using MAC Soft Ochre. The only thing now is finding out how long it lasts. So, so far it's been on for maybe about an hour, so we'll see from there and the smashbox primer water i mean i wanted to see am i just buying really expensive ass water and no immediately putting on my foundation just putting it on like after i spritzed it and everything and just applying it smooth i it was a little like tacky which is what it's supposed to do um but then it dried down and i just can't explain it but i just feel like maybe it's in my head Maybe it's psychosomatic because I'm thinking, oh, it's super awesome water. You better love it. It makes a difference. But I don't know. So far, I really can tell in my foundation and how everything just came together. But once again, we'll see how long that lasts as well. I'll, let, I'll leave all that information down below for you guys. You guys are curious to see if it's worth it or not. But so far, thumbs up from me. Thumbs up for both products. Really excited. I do do a different um, lip on the video uh, because I wanted to use all the bomb cosmetics just because I rarely ever use them and I mean you can do it with that one but I personally wanted something darker and vampier so I did switch it out for Tool by Colourpop but it's up to you guys you know it's whatever you guys want to do anyway I really hope you guys enjoy it and if you do please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe we'll see you guys next Tuesday bye Okay guys, so do not hate me, but I did not get a clip of me applying the primer. I thought the camera was on, but apparently it wasn't, but I pinky promise I put it on. And once I put it on, as you guys can see, it didn't cover anything because it is a clear primer. Then I'm going to set it with La Femme White Eyeshadow, which I tend to do. I either do La Femme or I do translucent powder, but I decided to go with La Femme today. And I'm going to use all Baham all Bahama Mama. I'm going to use all the Balm Cosmetic stuff today and I'm going to use the Bahama Mama bronzer as my transition shade. I'm just going to pack that on with an E25 by Sigma. Any brush will do really and I'm just going back and forth and I'm going to put some on the lid. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to go in with that burgundy shade so it's not that big of a deal. So once I'm done with that, I am going to go in with, what is it called? Sexy. Yep sexy with a flat shader brush and you know what like i mean it's a beautiful color don't get me wrong but for some reason it applied like kind of splotchy i had to go over like four times i don't know i wasn't pleased with that i don't know if it was the primer or the shadow but i mean i didn't have a problem with the rest so i want to say it was the shadow so it's not my favorite shadow, but it wasn't terrible. So I'm going back in with that E25, blending back and forth, and then packing on more color. I do that like four times just to really get it super intense. And here I did add a little bit of Bahama Mama bronzer, going back in, packing on more sexy, and once again blending it out because I'm not about that harsh lines life, nope. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to tight line. I'm tight lining with um, Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner. And I'm just doing the front, or I'm doing all of it really. And the reason why I'm tight lining is because I'm not going to do any eyeliner at the top. And here I have two Ardell 120 Demi's that I stacked. I make sure the front is secure and I make sure the back is secure and everything is just as close to the lash line as I possibly can get it. Then I'm going to take Mary Luminizer. And I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. I'm just popping it on with a M151 brush, I do believe. If not, I'll have that down below. Next, I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer Water. As you guys can see, this is the travel size. I just didn't want to go balls to the walls and get the full size bottle and spend like 40 bucks and hate it. But I do love it, so I'll probably end up spending the 40 bucks. And here I'm taking Fit Me Concealer in my MAC, uh, nope, MAC Foundation. 
in NC40 and I'm putting the NC40 foundation on the outside perimeter of my face and on the inside I'm putting the Fit Me Concealer in 15 and I just I'm doing the whole like Nikki tutorials kind of deal but with my own stuff and it really worked and it might be excessive but I use it as a foundation so I do go back in with another concealer to actually highlight and conceal but this one was more like a foundation you guys feel me on that one all right so once I've blended all of that out I do go in with age rewind concealer and this is in neutralizer it has like a yellow tint to it so it's also brightening which I thoroughly enjoy and I'm gonna apply that usual areas underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose on my forehead and on my cupid's bow To set everything in place, you guys already know, I'm going to use that Cody Airspun per the usual. I am going to see about investing in the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I swear, I pinky promise. But, I mean, I, I don't know guys, like that shit's just so expensive. And, and this is like $7, you know, and I've had it for like a year and it still looks like I haven't even put a dent in it. So it's kind of hard to, you know, branch out of that shit. But anyway, bronzing up the face with Bahama Mama bronzer here. I'm using a crown blush brush. I do have two of these brushes. I use one to bronze and the other for actual blush. And I really like them. I'm going to try, uh, see this is another thing that's on my bucket list. I do want to try that like super ass expensive MAC uh, brush that Desi Perkins like raves about. But I will let you guys know if I get ballsy and buy expensive ass shit. So here, I'm moving on to blush. I'm going to use Cabana Boy and Hot Mama. I wanted that purpley vibe from Cabana Boy, but I wanted it to be a little toned down, which is why I decided to mix it with Hot Mama. And I really like the way it came out. And it just kind of had like a little bit of a glow to it. It was all good. It was all good. And for highlighter, I'm going to use Mary Luminizer. This stuff is just so good. You guys have seen it everywhere. You guys know it is not hyped. It's legit good. Look at it. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. And it lasts forever. I'll glow for days. I pink promise. So here I am highlighting my nose. <laughs> going back in one more time on my cheekbones and admiring the glow. And for my lips, I'm using this cheek stain that comes in this like uh, palette thing, this holiday set. Don't get me wrong, the cheek stain was beautiful, but it was just a little too peachy for the vibes that I was going for. Which is why I do try it, and then I also try the red that was underneath it. But it just, I, I wasn't feeling it, which is why I changed it to ColourPop Tool once I do my intro, but I didn't do that until the intro. <laughs> so I'm going to use that same eyeshadow sexy and I'm going to blow out my lower lash line and apply a little bit of mascara. And that pretty much completes the entire look, guys. This is just, you know, a classic, just beautiful burgundy smoky eye. Great for Valentine's Day or any other day. I really dig it. I hope you guys do too.